Hey everyone, it's Guru Green Hat here with another Wi-Fi battle against Fresh from Team Equinox. And I'm really sorry, I made a mistake here. I turned out I had battle animation off for some reason. So it might look kinda boring visually. So I apologize for that. I I owe you guys better than this, so I'm sorry. Anyways, I hope you all had a happy Halloween and stuff. Um so to get into the battle, it gets off to a bit of a slow start. Things pick up later on. But it's pretty much his Umbreon cursing a bunch and me trying to do something about it. Yeah. Doesn't sound the most entertaining, I know, but believe me, believe me, it get it gets very interesting, okay? Just, just bear with me here. So let's see where we are. Um yep, Tux has gotten up a swords dance, but now I'm realizing that I can't actually hurt it, and it can probably hurt me a lot, so I go back out to Nocturne, because I'm really scared of payback. I'm really scared of payback. And, yeah. Nocturne's taken those paybacks pretty nicely, because it's, you know, physically defensive, dark type, etc. Lots of HP. Um, and, I can't do much about his Umbreon, but I know that his Umbreon can't do much to me either. So, I, I'm right now. I'm trying to hang around. Eventually, try to get as much damage as I can on it. So now I go to Sheep Shock. I'm praying he does not get the first turn wake, and I focus blast. It does a lot. And I was expecting it to deal about half, maybe less than half, but it dealt a pretty decent amount. And I should have stayed in focus blast again. It would have sped things up a bit. But I decided to switch out just to play it safe because I've missed the focus blast, and then he had. Payback to me, I would have lost Sheep Shock. Yeah. But then he wished up. Okay, now he finally switches. So now the battle is going to start picking up. I yawned because I wanted to get the thing to sleep, although I got the Harry Alma Drowsy instead. Um, I go to Ultimagus because I think he's going to switch. He goes to back out to the Umbreon, though, which isn't great. Um, and I'm going to go back out to Sheep Shock because without all the curses, Payback won't be doing too much. And I static it. And the synchronized paralyzes me, which is funny, but not really that great for me. I don't know. Sheep Shock. Sheep Shock loves having other Pokemon paralyzed. Doesn't like being paralyzed himself. Um, I signal beam just to be safe, but went out to the Hariyama, who took less from the signal beam than would have taken from the Focus Blast. Um, now I discharged. I realize Hariyama might have like Earthquake or something, but I decide to just keep discharging, and it does have the Earthquake. And Sheep Shock, Sheep Shock's not gonna take that, all right. Sheep Shock's gonna survive, and then get parahaxed. But no, the, the import, the moral of that story, the moral of that story was that Sheep Shock likes to survive earthquakes. Sheep Shock is a beast, all right. That is, that's the moral of that story. And I go up to my newest Pokemon, Tibby Attack, and it took me a while to think of this nickname. And it's, it's decent. I don't know. I'm willing to accept it, but not as clever as some of my other ones. Um, I'm predicting just about anything physical, so I go out to Nocturne. Even a Draco Meteor, Nocturne probably could have taken at least slightly. Um, I do believe I decided to go for the Yawn. No, I go for the Wish. Cool, cool. Go for the Wish. Um, and then I saw pass that to Tibia Attack. Tibia Attack. Oh, God, I can't even say its name. And, yeah. So Tibia Attack's at full HP, as he was before, too. So, yeah. And now I set up my Substitute, because I'm pretty sure it's going to switch. Goes up to the Dragonite. Um, I go for the Stone Edge, and because Stone Edge is a nice guy, cool guy, it kills aliens, it doesn't afraid of anything, it takes down the Dragonite in one hit instead of missing, and resulting in me possibly losing Tibby Attack. Goes up to his own Marowak, I'm like, whoa, trying to trying to copy my Pokemon, huh? And I go up to Zigzag, kind of as fodder, and also I could knock off the Thick Club if need be, but he's too smart for that, he sees that one coming. And I faked out there, just for damage, but go to the his Umbreon, who's already been knocked off, so I cannot further knock it off, because that's not how knockoff works. Um, yeah. Go out to the Hariyama, I yawned, but Hariyama's paralyzed, and I probably should have protected that, but I didn't. And the Wish heals it up, and I Wish again, which works out, because he whirlwinds. Bring me out to Zigzag, who still doesn't, whose focus sash is still unbroken, which is a nice touch. I fake out. I mean, hey, what else am I going to do? 
um, which doesn't do anything to me because I'm already full health. I go to Tibia Attack, and he gets Parahacked, which is kind of lame. He gets Parahacked again, which is kind of lame. And then I Earthquake to take it out. Um, yeah. So that Umbreon finally goes down. He goes up to his own Marowak, because he needs something to get rid of my sub. But Tibia Attack just beats him down with an Earthquake. I don't care if I haven't gotten any Swords Dance or anything. I don't have Swords Dance on the set. But I don't care that the Marowak's dead. So he goes out to a Togekiss. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe Thunder Wave, maybe Air Slash. I don't know. I go to Zigzag because I don't want Tibia Attack taking the Air Slash. And Zigzag's a special wall, so she can take those Air Slashes pretty darn well. And I'm just trying to get off my Thunder Wave here. And I do finally get off the Thunder Wave, paralyze Togekiss. Now I'm going to knock off to get rid of its leftovers, and this leaves Zigzag in to eventually die. Um, yeah, I had a nice 7 HP survive there, which was cool, but it didn't really make any difference. Now I get Tibby Attack, and I see I can make two more subs, so I decided to do a kind of jerk strategy and just substitute, keep substituting until he gets Parahaxed, because I don't want to risk a Stone Edge miss. So I go for the safer Thunder Punch. I really doubted Thunder Punch would KO from where he was, and I was right. But I'm behind my sub, so I'm safe to just whack at it again with another Thunder Punch. And that does take out the Togekiss. And I must say, this battle really just isn't as entertaining to watch without battle animation on. I'm really sorry about that. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Go that to the Hariyama. It's paralyzed. I move the earth beneath my feet. And the Hariyama is so flabbergast. Not flabbergasted, that's even a word. Flabbergasted that decides to survive. It's a loser. Go to Ultimagus, I Thunderbolt, it's the safest move, and Hariyama goes down. So he has one Pokemon left, and it is an Ursa Ring. And I like Ursa Ring. Although, to be quite honest, I'm not too fond of Special Color Ursa Ring. Oh. I Icy Wind, just in case he's Quick Feet. And he actually roars there, which kind of works out for me. I haven't seen Roar on Ursa Ring before. That's, that's a pretty groovy idea. Um, I didn't quite catch what I did there. Oh, yes, yeah, so I wished as he Swords Danced. See, it's hard to narrate when I can't see what they're doing. I have to keep reading it. Which, yeah. Yeah. And Fire Punch gets a crit. Crit probably mattered, but m didn't didn't matter, but it mattered. You know what I mean. I go to Ultimate Gives by Thunderbolt. I don't think it's going to KO, but it's going to deal more damage. And he Fire Punches. And Ultimate of course, can't take that. Because Ultimate wasn't wasn't at school when they were handing out defense stats. So he had to miss out. And then Tux all who the KO. So great game, Fresh. Again, sorry I apparently was stupid enough to not have battle animation. So leave a comment with the video and subscribe, guys. Yeah, thanks. Bye.